Good morning, friends. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, I'm so excited. I've got my new boots, my new tie. Come on, Tony. You are what? I, I, no, no, no. Tires, you know what I mean? Not new tires, but they're my new boots. And uh, resold Vibergs. Vibergs are, are, are the best around here. Um, they just are. And, and I've got them resold, and I'm freaking stoked. I wore them right like I've never worn a set of boots out before. And the gentleman said... He said these boots are in are in really good shape, and he he said you must have taken care of them, and I said why why yes I did, yes I did take care of them, and uh, I I don't know if I've ever I I know I've showed you guys the loggers not let's get rid of this here, there. I know I've showed you the loggers knot, but if I showed you the technique of how you tie up your boots so that when you grab each, you know, each section and, and you know, how you tie, you pull them tight before you, like skates, you know, when you go to tie your skates up and, and then you go to grab the top two strings and pull them. Excuse me. But the ones underneath have gone loose. Do you know what I mean? So it's always, you try and catch it to keep it, to keep that part of your foot tight. Right here. Do you understand what I'm talking about, friends? Okay. I'm going to show you something that uh, was, was taught to me by an old logger. And uh, it, it's it's the way to go. It's the way to go. Now, I don't do it on... on um, yeah. So... I, you need to come down and look at this. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Now, here you are. You're up close. Let's, let's block you so you don't see. Okay, so here I am. Okay? Got my little skirt. God, these smells good. Now, so, so, so the program would be... Let's make sure you guys get the angle. There. Angle of the dangle. Okay. So... Here we are, we're starting to lace up. Now, one would simply just, he would go in here, right? This would be the plan. You would go in here and you would start lacing your boot and you would go here and you would go through here. And, and we've been taught and trained to, to do this, friends, to pull, to pull this tab out, right? And to go in and out. Okay, well, I'm telling you, don't do that. Start again. Okay? Start again. I'm going to show you what to do. And it's amazing how it... So now, here's what we do, friends. We go over top. Out and over top. Okay? So there's our first one. We've gone out and over top. Now we go out. Okay, over top. All right, let's get. So now, so now, now what's happening, friends? I just want to make sure you, we we get we get you this here. Okay, so see what's happened. Let's make sure we got our good. So so what's happened now is it it believe it or not it's there's friction here, friends. There's friction right there. It doesn't just run straight out like like look. There's friction. So now, grab your, your next one. So, so what we would do now is we would come up and we would just go through here. Well, I'm, not, I'm saying don't do that. I'm saying go over top of the other side, back through. Grab your next one, come up, go over top. Over top and down. Okay? So then let's go again, over top. Like that. Don't make them real tight right away because you got to get your, your foot into them. 
because this works. Okay, so now that I've got, it looks like I've got three. So, so now what I do, friends, when I get to my last before my speed lacing, do you know what I mean? Before I get to my speed lacing, I do one more. I, I do one here. I go there. Okay, so we do that. Sorry. There, and I do one more. But my last one, sorry, friends, my last one, I don't go over top because it's so hard. It, it becomes so hard. I'm, I'm not kidding you. This works. Okay, so there we go. You see this, friends? Okay. I wish I had one to compare to you. Like, like, friends, they they don't. They're actually hard. Now, when this is what I'm talking about when you when you go to tighten these up. You see, look, like they literally, friends, they stay. So now I'm on my last uh, uh, eye. So I literally, I just I go through now, through the bottom, just so just so that I can actually get them loose, you see? And get, and get these things loose so they can actually go on my feet. Because they, they now I'm gonna show you something. Watch now. I'm gonna put these buggers on, okay? Come on, down here. I'm gonna show you something. Here we go. The boot is going on and I'm so freaking excited that they are. I'm gonna pull up my pants here a little bit. I got my new McCullough suspenders on from Tony Roof and Tony. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful feeling. Now, I gotta get you guys down lower. I may just, I may do this. I may put you guys on this boot, on this Viberg boot so you can see. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna put you on here like this. Okay, here's the program now. I want you to watch this, okay? So, so you see what's happened here, right? So now the, the, the thing is, is when we go to tie up our boots, we pull on the bottom ones first, right? We always do. We pull on the bottom ones. Okay, like that. These are covered in wax, so they're a little tough to grab. So it even makes it easier. So now, see that? Grab this next one. Grab that. Now, watch what happens. Did, did, did you see that, friends? Look at, they're still snug. They're, they're, they're completely tight. This is all tight here. And I haven't even tightened the top knot yet. I've done nothing. Look, they stay tight, friends, is my, it's like skating. Like, they're, this is the best for skates. Like, you tighten these up. With these laces, you can actually get away with going like this because they've got wax on them, okay? So, friends, give that a shot. These, this is a fresh lace from Johnny Bernstein and it's got the wax on it, right? So it takes a bit for them to wear in. So I just tie them in the knots and away we go for now. I'm not doing the loggers knot right now, but, but you'll see this, this has got that stickiness. And, and so, so there it is friends that that's, that's how I do that. Okay. Now this one here is already, already ready to go. It, it's got the same lace on it, but it's been worn. And John, you weren't kidding about these laces, pal. They are pretty good. Well, <laughs> how's everybody doing? Hey, everybody. How's the soldiers of kindness? The Buckin' Army? The Buckaroons? <laughs> you guys are awesome. You, you just are. I, I just... I'm, I'm freaking... I have to pinch myself, friends, sometimes. 18,000 and... Friends, this is making me so happy. I remember at like 5,000 or 6,000 and all I wanted to do was somehow make a little difference in the world in a way of... of can't we just all get along kind of thing that that old saying can't we all just get along you know that old saying like just I just saw a real division a real I've seen it for years but as a kid growing up I just I know this sounds silly I I, I know it does and, and I know I'm not alone so I just 
I just think we have the capacity to live in harmony and not suffer in our in our worlds, in our, in our own little worlds, you know, so to speak. I just, I do, I, I don't, I don't think we need, I don't think, well, I know it doesn't for me, it doesn't matter what the government's doing. It. I don't talk about politics, you'll notice that about this channel, I don't talk about any of that stuff. Because it, it honestly, it honestly means nothing to me. It means nothing to me. And then people will say, well, yes, it does. You're a businessman, aren't you? You run a business, don't you? You this? I said, yes, I sure do. Well, if you want to look for every little angle and every little thing that, that and be Mr. Oh, I told you so kind of guy, then that's your prerogative. But what I mean by that is this not gonna, it's not gonna change my daily happiness and how I can choose to be happy and make other people happy if I choose to do so. So, or try to, you know what I mean, friends? So, uh, I suffered long enough by my own accord. Trust me on that one. I don't talk about it all the time, but I did. I suffered hard, but nobody made, made that for me. I made that myself. Those were my choices. And now that I've chosen to not do that anymore, I get to just the way I changed my outlook of, of just, Hey, the only thing I am in charge of, not a lot, is, is, is who I am in regards to what's going on around me, right? Because life's going to happen. We all know that. It's almost like there's a predestined thing that's going to happen. But, but I get to choose who I want to be in regards to that. So I'm going to choose to be happy. Yeah, life's tough sometimes. Guaranteed it is. Trust me on that one. But you know what? You don't have to succumb. Now, Brad... This was about exactly what I was looking for, Mr. Brad. Hey, bud. It, it, friends, look at this thing here. Look at it. Where's the one I bought? I, I, I think I bought one. Yeah, I did. Of course I bought one. Remember when I bought that little thing? Just wondering if I can find it here. That's how much I care about it. I, I didn't even, I don't even know where it is. Cause I, cause I, I put it somewhere where I don't care. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know where I put it. You know what I mean? I wanted to compare it to this old vintage one. I don't see it here. But, yeah. Listen to this, friends. Listen. Listen to that click. <laughs> that, that's crazy. I don't see, oh yeah. Made in Germany. Made in Germany, friends, right there. I just noticed it. Made in West Germany, as a matter of fact. So that tells you a little bit of something about that right there. Made in West Germany, made in West Germany. Of course it is. And I'll bet you she's punched a few holes. Well, you can tell that one has. Oh yeah, that was the one they used quite a bit right there. Interesting. I think that's brass. Isn't that interesting, friends? Very cool. <laughs> Brad, you're a good man. Thank you so much for that. I love it. Freaking love it. Okay. Now. If you order an axe right now, a 30 inch wedge banger, 28, 30 inch wedge banger with a straight handle, you're in for a treat. You just are. The handles are indestructible. If you, if you break these handles, I, I don't, I don't know how, I, I, I just, I don't know how you're going to bust this handle. Wow. These, these guys are freaking smart. The, I, they're 40 bucks, friends. They're $40 and I will pay it all day long. If I got to bump the axe price by 15 bucks or 10 or $15 to make up for it, I will do so. They're wicked. I just bought five of them. 200 and something bucks I spent on five axe handles. 
and, I, and, and it was worth every freaking cent. Look at that one. Talk to me about that. Whoever gets this axe handle, I mean, I, I'm, we have access to these now. I just got them, friends. I just found them. And I've been looking. These are the ones I've been looking for. And we got them. It's a bone ass. Now, <clears throat> I made my wife. Oh, actually, before we go there. Before we go there, we better turn Landfill's hard hat on. The Landfill hard hat. Forever watching in the UK. How are my friends in the UK? Hey, Mikey Yo-Yo. Mikey Yo-Yo was, was messaging me the other day, bucking. Where are you? Are you, are you? are you running out of things to do? Are you? What did he say? He said something. He's like, I don't know if he realized I was half dead or what. He was, he was missing me. Yo, yo, you were missing me, weren't you? I know you were, bud. I'm okay though. And no, we're not running out of content. I think that'll, that won't happen here. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> that's going to be hard for me to do. I don't struggle for content. Um, here, oh, there's my boy. Cool. Some axe heads showed up today. One very interesting thing. Bob. This, I've never seen anything quite like this. It was almost fell out of the uh, the bottom of the, the uh, thing though. I don't know why, but it, it, it almost did. X-ray screened and cleared. Oh, cool. So that's that. Boy! How's it going, bud? Neat. Very neat. You see that, friends? I, I honestly don't know what it is. I, I, I have no idea. I, I guess it's an axe. Never seen one. I don't claim to see it all. But I do claim to like to learn. So, who is this? I really don't know. We're going to find out. Aha, here we go. It's Anthony Smith. Ah, Anthony. Good man, buddy. AKA Roof and Tony. Roof and Tony. What? Chester looks fit and alert. So does Victor. They must be eating the same biscuits. <laughs> we'll email when you get the package. Ah yes, it's Mr. 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 Roof and Tony, great guy, friends, great guy. I'll read this after. Oh look at that, a Vulcan. Somebody was just talking about this True Temper Vulcan. I was just, I was watching a video, and and some guy was making one of these, redoing one of these. <gasps> <coughs> Tony. Tony, are you serious? You, how did you get this? You, are you freaking serious right now? Come on, Tony. You are what? I, I, no, 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 <clears throat> this is not happening. They look to be one size. Oh no, are they adjustable? I think they are. Wow. Extra large, friends. Look at these freaking suspenders, friends. <laughs> Oh, this has made my freaking day, week, month. Bucking's got max suspenders now. Oh yeah, yeah I do. You got that right, Bobby Walker. Oh, there. Sorry guys, I'm just getting these on. I can't, I can't wait to freaking wear these right now. I'm just getting them on the back there. Get on there, you. Oh. 
I have not had a set of snap suspenders for a long time. Whoa, what's that racket? I have a set of suspenders from McCulloch now. And I, I just can't believe it. You're, you're, you're going to be talking to a guy. Tony. I can't believe you, bud. Friends, are you are you feeling me or what? Hey? I mean, I know I got my freaking belt on. Oh, it happens to be a McCullough belt buckle as well. Tony! Guys, gotta be careful with these suckers. Oh! <laughs> Love him, Tone. Love him. Yeah, okay. How you doing? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, oh you mean th these suspenders here? My uh, McCulloch suspenders I got from my friend Tony. Yeah, it's roofing Tony. He's a good guy. Yeah, Tony. Uh, that's right. McCulloch. Love it. Tony, you're wicked. Tony, what's in these things? Nothing. Hey, this is just packaging or what, Tone? There they are. Oh! Oh, my dear Lord. Oh! <clears throat> okay. So, friends, this is scary. Now, the very interesting thing, Tony... Oh, look, look, look at... Look at oh, okay, this is interesting. Oh, okay, look it. This is really cool. Friends, this is neat. These are, you're from England, Tony. I know you are, aren't you, buddy? This is Elwell. I've got a seven pound Elwell. This is all Elwell stuff. Look at this one. Tony, this is freaking nice, buddy. Tony, roofing Tony. And look at that Elwell. Dang, always oh, got mud on it and everything. Ha <laughs> ha. Deadly. Friends, Elwell Steel is wicked. Forge, um, Bury, something Linsbury, Wens Wensbury, uh, uh, Elwinsbury. Cast steel, six pound. Wow. Wow. This is. This is really nice, this one, friends. Look at that. Th this is a... This is a big head. It's Elwell. Oh, 1913! No, 43. Tony. Look at how he got me, friends. By appointment. Ha ha ha! I love it. Okay. Ah, Derbyshire. There you go. Derbyshire. Tony, you're a wild freaking man. What else has Tony got here? He's got another. Oh! Tony, is this. This is Elwell as well. And there's one more. A little guy. What's in. Oh, look at this little guy. Tony, you're, you're crazy. Look at this little guy. I love English stuff. I do. I've got a couple English heads. Oh, yeah, it's Elwell. Elwell was a big company down there, eh? What's this? Oh, okay, that's, gotcha. Nice little Elwell hatchet there, one and a quarter. Beautiful. Sharp, actually. Wow. That's pretty, buddy. Cool. Tony, this is a wicked package. Thank you, buddy. I wasn't expecting this, bud. Now, what did you say here? What am I supposed to do here? It says for, for. Okay, Carl. Your plum is going on with the final fit with our Arvika replacement handle, solid as a rock handle. This, there's no reason why this ax shouldn't last for the rest of your life. It's no joke. No joke whatsoever. Just, we're going on for the last beating. 
you can hear it. There it is. Thud. Yep. There it is. Done with our little rising above there. This is, this is just... It's crazy is what it is. Look at that. Wow. Right down on the shoulder as a matter of fact. Curl every freaking place. <laughs> it's... It's nuts. You may as well see this, friends. I mean, I could continue to bash it. There's no point. Look. <laughs> Look at right into the crevice in the corner there. All the way around. Right to the back and to the sides. All the way around. A little bit not at the back, which is fine. This is crazy. Wow. So now, now what we do, and we know we got it, we get our. Right, friends? That's, that's how they're done. That's how axes are designed. You, you don't want it super, super tight. Don't, don't try and get your fit so tight. You go, oh, that's a nice tight fit. I can't even get a freaking uh, hacksaw blade in my kerf. That's not what you want. How are you going to get a wedge in? Do you know what I mean? Like you could be working against yourself because you'll, you'll, you'll get things better with a wedge than you will with no wedge. Let's see what they've got here. Let's see what they're asking. What are they asking? This looks to me that this might just be perfect. Let's see. That's going to go there. And that's going to go... Oh, no. I can go a little bigger. I can get a bigger wedge. So that's good. Because this is going to go... Let's see. That's how big that is. So... Okay, so we can actually get a, a, a bigger wedge, which is good. But I will have to I will have to straighten it out because of this kerf is so skinny. You know what I mean? It's it, I'm gonna have to taper a wedge out, make a wedge. Okay, friends, I've made my wedge. I've chamfered the corners a little bit, and I've made it so it's a little longer than the one they give us stock, because this one was short a bit. It's a little, little longer now, so it's gonna fill up more. And I've made the taper a bit. I've tapered it, which it's a little thicker than their wedge. And that's okay. I want it to be a little bit thicker. This is thicker, but you know what? It's wood and it's gonna, it's gonna conform to this. Just, it was my gut instinct. Now, what I do is I give it this. The magical, magical kindergarten glue because it's just what I'm gonna do. That's how I do it. People say, why do you put glue? You don't need it. Well, if you've taken apart as many axes as I have and noticed when your wedges fall right out, you'd understand why glue is a good thing. We're leaving right now. I'm just putting this wedge in. Okay. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll wipe my fingers off. Carl, old boy. Carl, you're a good man. You are a great man. Carl has been, he's a soft-spoken fella, even though you can tell he's got an opinion. <laughs> he does. He's a great guy. Great guy. But these axes are his, and he's, he's, he's a particular man. And I've enjoyed working for you, Carl, and I'll tell you that. Never bugged me once, not once. Mind you, it hasn't been forever, but it has been a while. And that's how this program is, friends. If you're in a hurry for your axe, don't order an axe from Buck and Billy Ray. Don't. Unless you say, Buck and, listen, here's the deal. Is it possible for you to have this axe for this birthday in two months or whatever? Just be clear because, friends, it takes time to get something like this. Okay. Now, we've got our special axe out. We've got our wedge fit. Just, I, I like what we got here. I really like what we got here. Let's put you guys on your stand, which is your vice. Now, let's put this here. You guys are ready to rock, aren't you? Let's do it. Let's see what happens here. So far, so good. Nice, 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 nice entry. Nice entry. Starting to get tough already. Like it's starting to, it is. It's starting to hurt already. So now...
How strong those wedges are, friends. Wow. There we go. That's about her. I'm glad I took that last little bit out, eh, friends? Yeah. Look, I'm glad I sanded that little bit out. Wow. <laughs> I, I like getting a good firm hit. I just do. This looks good. <clears throat> Over now you and the channel, which is great. Oh, just a few bits and bobs, bits and bobs, bits and bobs for you and the channel, which is great and informative. Would like you to fix up the true temper. Ah, with a handle for my son, Charlie. Maybe you could give him a mention whilst doing the job. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Tone. Don't mind paying a bit extra. Okay, you don't have to worry about that. He's got his own house and lives with his girlfriend, Anna, who's a great kid. Plus, please, will you stick a buck and special on the four and a half pounder in there for me? The rest are yours to stroke and drool over. <laughs> so, so the four and a half pounder. Okay, that's got to be this one. That that's got to be that right there. You're darn tootin', I would, Tony. That 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 is wicked, buddy. Are you serious about this thing? This thing's crazy. That's no. Oh, Tony. Okay, so the, I reckon that's four and a half pounder right there. Let's let's measure it right now on my old scale. There's the scale. Let's watch it move. Tone, watch it go. Yep, there you go. Four and a half. Right on the money. Okay, good, Tone. You're damn for you're damn tootin' straight, I will, buddy. Absolutely. That's what you're after? You consider it done, pal. Very cool, Tony. Thanks very much. I was not expecting this, my friend. This is so cool. I got your address here. Mr. Anthony Smith. Very cool. Friends, over and out. Talk to you in a bit. Well, this never fails. So this is one <coughs> where, how are we doing everybody? You got bucking. It's a glorious night. I can feel my wind coming back slowly. My lungs have been gurgling for a few days after that sickness. Like, you know what I'm talking about. It's coming and that takes my breath away too, right? So um, anyway, here, let's do this. Um, so what this is, is, is this is an ax that I've had sitting around. It's barbaric. I found it for a buddy of mine. Uh, he bought an ax a while ago. Great guy. Olaf, old boy. I believe it's Olaf. He ordered a, uh, a jersey pattern was important to him. Barbaric jersey was, is what we were shooting for. And there's one more fellow who was waiting for one too and another one came. So friends, I need to thank everybody for sending ax heads. Truly, sincerely and seriously. Because we don't get these here. We, we, we don't get them. Um, and they're lovely. I, I love working with them. But this one here has been, um, there's been some issues with it. And uh, this was a bear. This was a bear to, to fit, okay? But uh, it's a really neat axe. It, it's a gorgeous handle. It's one of those uh, replacement Arvika handles. But if you can see what I can see, see the sinew in it? I call it sinew. It's like a tough steak, like a piece of meat. It's got it all through this handle. If you look closely, you can see it in there. See it? It's all through this handle. It's an amazing handle, okay? Steel wedges in it yet. There's, there's no steel wedges in it yet, but it's years. But I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, I want to show you. It's nothing you haven't seen before, but I'm going to show it to you again anyway. I'm going to put you guys here so you don't go falling. Now. Ah. 
I'm going to hit straight on because I want to I want to work the axe. Yeah, like there, you see? Like that. And and look. This is a good way to to check your axe, to check your fit is ram it in somewhere. Right? And and pull back and forth and just see. Let's put it backwards upside down now. Okay, good sign, very good sign. So this, I got a good feeling about this actually, very good feeling. We've had no slippage whatsoever, it's important. It's very important. So, man, this handle's nice. It, it's, it's different. You can feel it. The sinew I'm talking about, the sinew and hickory. Like friends, I have, I've spent so much time on this in getting this to fit. This is working with vintage ax heads. What am I going to do? Throw that away? No, I'm not going to, not a chance. My purpose is to get this on here get my symmetry happening and see if I can keep that head staying on there. That's my prerogative, not prerogative. That's my job as, as sending it out to someone. That is my utmost job is to keep this head on here and make a good strong ax. And that's what I've done. And I'm not even done yet. I'm going to do some more. I'm very happy with it. It's just that there is the odd little bit of space here where I wasn't hoping there would be. Um, but I'm not done yet. But I just wanted to bring that up to you guys, over and out.